Hello boys and girls, Lord Hawkeye here again. This is a um, video I'm making in, in response to a PM I got from Albanian Anarchist who had some questions for me. This, uh, this is a prevailing theme on some anarchism subreddits I've been browsing. It is quite frustrating that the questions about anarchism subreddit these people claim anarchism is anti-capitalist and that anarcho-capitalists are not really anarchists. Last I checked, anarchism just means without a state. Correct. And no, anarchism is not inherently anti-capitalist. All capitalism means is private is, pro is property rights and um, free trade. Meaning, and free trade, all that means is if people want to trade, they are free to do so. Nobody else gets a say in the matter. That's all it means. So when people attack free trade, it, it really makes me wonder if they bother to go to dictionary.com and read about what it is, or if they just jump in on the bandwagon. Anyways, it doesn't make sense to me that people say true anarchism is a society with no property. I don't get it. It makes zero sense. Yeah, for one thing, if I want to own, if some, if some people want to set up a system of property, are you going to stop them by force if necessary? Congratulations. If you do, congratulations, you just invented government. And if you're not, well, what are you going to do? Ask them nicely? Well, there you go, once again. But. They say things like, labor is exploiting and property is theft. And, and he really doesn't understand why they say that. Well, maybe I can help. I know why they believe that, I know what, and I know where their thinking has gone astray, so here's my take on it. The idea is that if, say, I want to take a, claim a piece of property to, like, build a house, to build a house on or do something with it, I want to claim this as my own, in order to do that, I have to force everyone else off it. So if I'm claiming this, I'm preventing other people from availing themselves of that resource. And um, if, I'm, if they cut trespass and I force them off, I'm the jerk, I'm, I'm using force, I'm being, the bad, I'm being the bad person. Yeah. That, I mean, that's the idea behind it. And on the surface, it does seem to make a bit of sense until you realize the crucial fact that these people are ignoring. To help demonstrate that, I bring your attention to an old fairy tale, The Little Red Hen. Does anyone, anyone remember that story? If you don't, I'll sum it up to you. It tells a story of a little red, little red hen who's going along doing her thing and she happens across these grain seeds and she says, Whew, I have an idea. I could use these to grow some grain and make some delicious bread. Wouldn't that be wonderful? So she collects the seeds, and there's three other animals on the farm, a pig, a duck, and a mouse. And she asks them, I'm going to, I got an idea, I'm going to grow these seeds and make some grain and make some bread with them. Would anybody like to help me? And they all say, no, no, we don't want to. Okay, so she says, all right, I'll do it myself then. So she plants them, she grows it, and, she asks, and later she asks them, I've got all this. I've got all this wheat. Um, would anybody like to help me harvest it? And they say, and they all, again, they all say, no, I don't want to. She so says, okay, I'll do it myself. She harvests it herself, and she asks them, would anybody like to help me take it down to the grain to the grain mill? And again, they all say no. So she does it herself, and then she asks them, would anyone like to help me bake the bread? And again, they all say no. So she bakes it herself. So she steps, she steps out with this loaf of delicious looking bread and asks, who'd like to help me eat this? And they all go, I will, I will. <laughs> and then she stops them and says, now hold on a second. You didn't, help me, you didn't help me plant the seeds. You didn't help me take care of the grain. You didn't help me harvest it. You didn't help me take it to the mill. You didn't help me, um, you didn't help me bake it. And now you, get, you, you think you're going to come in and get, a, and get a share of it? No. You can't, you don't get to do that. And that story, that is the best sum up of capitalism I've ever seen. I mean, that just sums it up so perfectly. It's kind of embarrassing to me that I didn't, I didn't remember that story for a long time. Yeah. You see, here's the problem that the, that the, that the property is theft people are ignoring. Human capital. You don't, when, they, when we say property rights, we don't just mean material possessions. We also mean you own yourself, you own your time, you own your energy, you own your talents, you own all of that. Because 
<laughs> yeah, and this is the thing they try to avoid because, well, it's easy to, it's easy to self-righteously say, point to a rock or a tree and say, you can't own that, that belongs to everybody. Try pointing to a human being and say, you can't own that, that belongs to everybody. Yeah, that doesn't look, that doesn't look so righteous now, does it? And yeah, the hen was absolutely right here. The, she didn't just, like when pe like the people who say, how come the rich don't pay their fair share? They, the people who say that, you're the pig, the um, duck, and the mouse. You sat there, you didn't do, you didn't do any, of the th any of the things that created that wealth, and now you think you're entitled to it? The little red hen didn't just happen to have a loaf of bread. She worked for it. She did a whole bunch of stuff. If she had, like, by claiming ownership of that loaf of bread, has she deprived them of a loaf of bread? No. These three, the other three animals, had no intention of ever growing those seeds, harvesting, and all that sort of thing, as very clearly evidenced by the story. They had no intention to ever make that bread. So, they in fact have lost nothing by her claiming it, because if it hadn't been for the little red hen, that loaf of bread wouldn't have even existed in the first place. So when someone works and make and makes something new, he doesn't he's not claiming he's not just depriving people. He's created something entirely new that wouldn't have existed otherwise. I mean, you can't say there's no value in that. If you do, then you're saying that a lump that a lump of iron ore is worth just as much as a hammer. I mean, come on. And um yeah, when people say when people say property is theft, they're ignoring that very cru that very crucial fact. Like if so like if you make if you make a lo if you go to the trouble of making a loaf of bread and someone wants to trade with you and s wants to trade with you well there you go there you go now he can get a loaf of bread using and he can get it using talents using if his talents lie elsewhere like if the hen bakes a loaf of bread and someone else wants a loaf of bread but he's a terrible baker he'd probably burn it if he tried to but say he's better at he's better at fishing say he goes out to fish and He's really good at fishing. He's really patient. He knows where to go to get the good ones. And he's able to get lots of fish and says, Hey, Miss, Miss Hen, how would you like some fish for the, bre for the bread? Because, you know, I'm not very good at baking. And, the, and she agrees. Well, guess there you go. They both get something they want. I really would like to challenge people to tell me what exactly is wrong with that. How is this exploitative? The hen, the hen, the hen's not, if the hen's not very good at fishing, well, now she gets fish anyway. And if the fisher isn't very good, and if the fisher isn't very good at baking, well, he still gets bread. So there you go. They don't need to be good at everything to get everything they want. Now, what would happen if we went with the communistic approach to this story? Say that if the if the hen bakes bread, she has to give a share to everybody. Well, think about it. She'd say, "Well, wait a minute. Why should I bother? Why should I bother doing all this work if they're all going to get to get in on it anyway? Maybe I'll just I think I'll just wait around and let someone else bake the bread." And what would and who's going who's going to bake the bread? Who's going to bake the bread only for everyone else, everyone for everyone else to get it? I mean, I think I think it's pretty clear. Which in which is in which situation is someone more likely to bake a loaf of bread? A situation where he gets to keep the bread and do do with it what he wants. He can give it away if he wants to, or a situation where if you bake a loaf of bread, everyone gets to come in and take it, and you might get a few and you might get a few bites for all your efforts. Yeah, there's a lot of truth to when people say that communism makes everyone equally poor because it does. The sure, as a wise man once said, the surest way to destroy a civilization is to penalize people for being productive. So, if you really care, if you really care about the greater good, then you damn well better be down with property rights. But now, let's not let the let the communists think I'm totally picking on them. If in a stateless society you want to pool your pool all your wealth and then um, set things up that way, you can do that. I'm not going to stop you. What am I? What am I going to do? No. If you want to do that, you can. If you ask my advice, I would advise. I would advise against it because I really can't see it resulting in anything but poverty and ultimately abuse. But hey, maybe you know something I don't. Maybe you'll find a way to make it work. Heck, if you really, if you really make it work well, you might even convince me to invest in it. But that's the key word: convince. You can't. If I want. 
if you want to um, run things in a communistic manner, you can do that. But on the flip side, if people want to respect property rights and trade and have free trade with each other, they can do that too. You don't get to step in and say, no, you can't do that, it's not real anarchy. No, no. As long as nobody is forced to participate who doesn't want to, then it is anarchy. That's how it works. Well, I hope that cleared up for you, and thank you very much, Albanian anarchists, for bringing this to my attention. Until next time, be aware and be wise.